Hi and welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel and what is part 4 in the series all about my Project 12 modular synth. In this video we're going to be looking at the voltage control filter VCF. The VCF in, in here it's uh, a, a Korg MS20 style circuit design it's actually the circuit design from Look Mum No Computer so this is another one of Sam's projects um, and once again um, on his website he's got some great instructions all the diagrams you need to build this on a, on a strip board um, so I'll put the link in the description and you can go along check it out uh, and get everything you need from there in order to make the build um, what we will do we'll have a look at the panel and what, what the controls are uh, have a look, quick look at the circuit um, and kind of what it looks like when it's actually built um, so you get an idea what, what the finished product should be and then most importantly we'll have a listen to what it sounds like when you use it with the rest of a, a modular system so yeah over to the workbench and let's have a look at the panel here we are, this is the front of the panel, um, quick run through what the controls are. It's a low pass filter so you have cut off um, which obviously is that sets the frequency range and then resonance um, which you'll hear is, is that gives it that classic um, MS20 kind of almost uh, you know, buzzing that's the sound. Um, I'm not doing it justice trying to describe it here. I'll do it a lot more justice when we plug it in. Um, but the bottom you've got the simple in, so you put your signal into the input and then you take your signal from the output. Um, we have a CV input, so this is voltage controlled low pass filter so what the control voltage actually controls is the cutoff frequency and then we have a CV level so um, they can kind of dial in or out the effect that the control voltage is going to have so really not not a lot of controls on there not not particularly complicated signal in signal out you can either manually control the cutoff and resonance or you can control the cutoff with uh, the control voltage. Um, the LEDs, they, they when when the kind of the resonance starts to come in, the LEDs start to get, get brighter. You'll, you'll see that when it's in operation. What does the circuit look like? Well there we go. Nothing too scary. It's um basically a, a couple of op amps, there's a TL074 quad op amp and a LM13700 I think it is transconductance op amp and then um, not really a lot more beyond that, there's a couple of transistors on there and then a few resistors and, and the odd couple of caps, it's it's relatively simple layout, yeah, not a difficult build at all um, so yeah, it's quite a straightforward design. And as I say, all the instructions on how to put it together are on the Look Mum No Computer website. And um, well, yeah, go and check it out. We'll put it back in the synth. We'll fire the synth up, and we'll have a listen to uh, what this filter actually sounds like. Well here we have the panel back in the synth, just uh, I'll take you through what, what the setup is. Um, I'm using a one of the 4046 VCOs on the dual VCO panel. Um, I'm triggering that VCO from uh, a sequence running on, on the Baby 8 actually. Um, I'm, I'm, Processing the CV and gate from the Baby 8 on a on a buffered uh, utility module. Um, we'll come on to that in a later video. Um, out of the 
VCO, we're going into a, a Vactrol VCA, which is being triggered from the gate out on the PB8. Um, just let you listen to what the without the filter. So we're not we're not going through the filter yet. We just listen to what what the signal sounds like. So that's the sequence that we're going to start filtering with our MS20 style VCF. So if I now take the output from the Vactrol and put it into the filter, and the output from the filter is going into the mixer. Um, so really, all, all the, the difference between what you've just heard and what you're about to hear now is is the filter. There's nothing else going on. So, so it's a low pass filter. So we're we're, we're kind of a if we take it down. We're knocking out the the higher frequencies. This is the cutoff control I'm, I'm moving here. We take it up. And obviously there's a little bit of resonance dialed in, which is where you get that whistle as it sweeps. change the resonance you can hear there we're, in, we're into self oscillation now <laughs> Okay, it's a very quick demo, but that's that's kind of a basic uh, manual sweep of, of resonance and, uh, and cut off. As I said, we've got we've got a CV input. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take um, the output from the low frequency oscillator LFO on my Project 9 synth and plug that into the CV. Just the CV level. What I'm doing there, so fairly fast, let me slow it down. It's on the point of triggering the, the resonance there. Of course, um, it's not synced to the clock on the um, sequencer. I can change on the LFO, I can go from square wave to triangle wave. And you can hear what that sounds like. I'm altering the CV control here. And alter the cutoff. 
Not to the CV. Can walk through the cuts off again. So there you have it, a relatively straightforward MS20 style voltage control filter. As I say, some really good instructions, really easy to follow on the Look Mum No Computer website, so please do go check those out. And hey, I'm, I built this, didn't, didn't know it wasn't that difficult, so if I can do it, then I'm sure you can. So go on, have a go, build your own.